Welcome back everyone, welcome back to some more Let's Play Inscription, Casey's mod. This will be part 34 of our Let's Play. In the last episode we got crushed really, really early and then we got to, uh, to start again. Now I'm pretty sure, it's been a little while since I played Inscription, I'm pretty sure we were up to the third boss. Um, so what's our build? Uh, ooh, it's a fucking mess. Um, okay, the beaver's kind of fun. Uh, yeah, 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 gotcha. Uh-huh, what do we want to take? Do we want a random card? We have no items, I feel like we want a random card. Nah. Duplicate Ant Queen, I'm into it, because do we just hit the Mycologist, because I can already see one there. Once again, I think the answer to this question is... 100%. Ooh... Scissors? We only have the one... Why oh, do we have the Wolverine? Shit. Probably should have taken the bones. Uh, yeah, we'll just go this way. Hit the Mycologist. That is not good. That is not a good... Not a good totem to have. This is one that we are going to have to get on top of rapidly. Because we can't deal with that coyote literally at all with this hand. So, I think... Put a skunk there. And let this coyote hit us. And then I guess we chop him. Because we have to put a skunk here. Oh god, that coyote is going to disable us. Okay. You have to go. You are a, a top tier problem. Yeah, wolves with stinky is just a, just a horrific uh, combination. Because wolves, uh, some of the cards do like the most damage in this game. Uh, Raven does not help as much as you'd think it would. Okay, I'm just going to put you here. Because he's immediately going to get replaced with a corpse maggot. <laughs> uh... It's going to buff you as well. I mean, this is a loss. This is a, a really big L. Uh, there is nothing we can do to really stop this, like, at all. Um, yeah. I, I'm wondering whether I want to bother wasting any more items on this. Um... Because if I let those alphas in, if, if I let either of these two come down, it's it's game over. I mean, this one would be the least painful, but... You know, what's, what's the difference? Um... Yeah, see, like, the Raven's one of the only big hitter cards in our deck. I think Stinky is is a hard counter to our deck at this stage. Sorry, I'm just trying to think of how we can actually pull a win out of this. That is that is on me. Uh, we let this happen. See if we kill here, he powers up, but it doesn't really matter. But then I can't kill the alpha. That's the problem. So I can just keep chomp blocking here, but. Doesn't really save us. And if I chop the wolf. Um. Is that better? Not really. Let's do this. Because I'm just thinking... Uh, 
Because our Sparrow, he's not exactly the biggest threat. Oh yeah, it does two damage now. Right, getting rid of both of them may have been a mistake. See a flying ant. Um, great, but it's only gonna do one damage. <laughs> like, cool. Uh, doesn't really help. Yeah, okay. Uh, it was a waste. I should not have used the. Should not have used the, the second scissors. I've now just used up all my items for for now. Because also all of these are flying. Every single one is flying, meaning I can't do any direct- I can't, like, remove anything here. All of my removal in this battle has been scissors. Alright. Just- just win. I shouldn't have wasted those scissors. That was just such a mistake. I wonder if I can- hang on. Okay. Can I do a little cheeky restart of that battle? <gasps> I can. I, I'm out of practice. Okay, I'm gonna justify it that way. They're still gonna win, 100%. Does it... Uh, it keeps all the same cards. Very good. So, we know when it uh, generates its... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, right. Well, I think the skunk... Maybe bullfrog? No, because it just dies anyway. See, neither of these are, are good. Okay, maybe Skunk is the answer. Okay, so we just set this as like the same... Same kind of build. This be the Raven, which doesn't help us at all. We want to put it here. Okay, do we get rid of you straight away? Because then this counteracts the Sparrow. You bring in the Alpha. Okay, so that's the other Bullfrog. Which, to be honest, I think is a better call here. I should... No, because we don't want that Coyote to come down. We want to keep as many of these stinky cards away from our front line. You always sound like a child when you, when you talk about this game. Okay. So there's the flying ant. Now we could... So he only does one damage. So he's not actually that threatening. Um, yeah, we don't really want to get rid of the rabbit. Like, one damage there. Although we're, we're going to get hit for a lot of just, just one damages here. And I think that's the real problem. Although if I get rid of the... Alpha. If I do that, it does make a lot of our problems go away. Because now I kind of rate putting this guy right here. So we're going to currently take 1, 2 damage. It's going to take our entire higher item supply, but I mean... It's kind of fine. Okay, so we take three damage here. Four damage. Now if I put him in front of the porcupine, he's gonna die, because he, he attacks, takes a damage, he attacks, I die. I can't put him in front of the coyote except to block. God, we might spend our entire, like, this entire episode on this battle. Oh, it's a good one, though. It is a good one. See, this Sparrow has to live. Like, this is only one damage. This is only one damage. If we could get rid of that Coyote, that would be just ideal. Okay, so something tells me this is the play. Because there's three damage, they hit us for four. The... I mean, Beaver doesn't really help. Um, actually, he kinda does. 
Because now I can bring out something that can do damage. For which, to be honest, is absolutely nothing. <sighs> which is what... Like a Wolverine, I guess. Ah, oh, but this dam will never disappear because of that rabbit. It's gonna be an ant queen. And then I guess a mealworm. So what do we do here? We have to be very careful because of the limited space we've created. I think we go ant queen here into a wolverine here. Take one damage, kill. He doesn't kill. Okay, now if I put him here, okay, I think we get a win out of this. Because we've now basically cleared their board. It's a, it's a damn close win. It is a win, though. I don't think it's worth all of our items. We're literally in the same position we were in before, but we still have the double sacrifice, which we can't discount. Uh, sorry, the double candle, uh, which we can't discount. It's actually kind of tempting to go for the squiggle card, the, the true random card. Oh my god, Mantis, yes. Okay, so this has to be the Ant Queens, right? Because we don't have any other duplicates. No, it was the Bullfrog we wanted to fuse, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was. We wanted to make a Super Bullfrog, which actually in this deck we have way more value out of that. Uh, we're dead. <laughs> Well, okay, I'm glad I won that last battle then. Holy shit, that will. That wolf. Oh, how do I compete? Um, I mean, I don't, because he can kill us this turn, and unless I... I, I can't win. Yeah, alright, you win. <laughs> Just fuck me, I guess. Because I couldn't even play the River Otter, because the River Otter would submerge, and then it doesn't provide defense. So, that opening hand was just a GG. <laughs> like, uh, I had nothing. Absolutely zilcho. Um, yeah, a wolf cub, actually. Oh, what a load of horseshit, though. Some of these totems are just, like, a, a bit rude, a bit unfair. Like, wh what do you do about it? Um, I'm gonna upgrade the skunk. Primarily because it's worth two cards. So I've actually just upgraded two cards for the price of one. Can't fault that. Ooh, is this good or bad? So he brings out a turkey vulture. Uh, which he didn't. Oh, God. Nope. GG. <laughs> what, what do I do about this? Well, I can stop the sparrow. Uh, yeah. I mean, I have to stop the Sparrow. Like, that has to happen. I do two damage. I guess he only does two, doesn't he? And then I can just bring out second Skunk. Because now he has one... Okay. You're just... You're just having a, having a giggle at me now. Um... I need to block something here. I need to block the coyote. Because there's nothing I can do about this. I mean, I have to ring out the Ant Queen. Okay, so if I leave this board position, we do two damage, he dies, and then we take... Six. <laughs> and then we die. Fair enough. <laughs> not, not really an option. Uh, alternatively, I throw out, I guess, the Ant Queen. 
sacrificing this skunk? Or is it more worthwhile to sacrifice this one? Oh god, why are all these battles so tough? I, I think we're just dead, is the real answer. Um, if if these battles are this tough, the final battle is just miles above. Well, I'm going to take four damage. That, that is... So let's, let's subtract that off. So I need to get to at least, what, one... Or one, two, three, four. I need to be at least here. No, I need to be at least here, sorry. So I need to do two damage. And also block the coyote. The problem is if I just block the coyote, like I can block it with a flying ant, but he's going to kill it. And then I'm kind of screwed. So what do I need to do? Two damage. Actually, we can we can do that. Right. If I put the Ant Queen here. We sacrifice for the Worker Ant? This is a four damage. Actually, okay. If I just leave this, I do six. I take six. But if I do four... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll still be fine. And then next turn I can do three. I think that's actually what we want. I think in reality we want to do this. Because what I'm seeing here is this raven's not that threatening. Two damage is not terrible. If he stays alive, it's actually kind of good for us. Because now, okay, he dies. I mean, this is going to die as well. Not great. Um, this coyote and the stoat die. This skunk is just there to be a pain. So actually, I clear most of the bad damage dealers. I will still have a coyote, but we can keep up with him. Okay, well, that changes things. Because I can't afford to get hit here. So I do 4 damage, he's going to do 4 damage here, plus 2 from that guy. So I have to do this. Yeah, we're kind of in a dead board position. Because unless I can get an incredible card, which I don't. Uh, in fact, I get a complete dud. Uh, or is it? Okay, the biggest problem is I don't see this as a win. Well, I think this is the best chance we've got. Because we're definitely dead this turn. Now, will three cards save me? I think I have to play this guy here. Three cards may not save me, but maybe two will be enough. Okay, I need a bone card. So the Wolverine has to come out. What does the Bullfrog need to come out? Maybe we don't want a Bone card. Because I think this Raven now has to die. Um, that means I need to... Actually, I don't have to sacrifice anything. Okay, so he's dead. Which means if I bring out a Wolverine... Actually, if I bring out a... The Wolverine and Corpse Maggots. No, that won't be enough. Corpse Maggots and the Bullfrog? Has Bullfrog a block this? Yeah? 
Porcupine's bad, but, you know, we, we... You concede. Yeah, fuck oath you do. Um, I think we accept the concession. Because I don't like that raven being there. I, I think he, he called that a bit early. Definitely could have dragged that one out. Uh, there's really no point going to the trader, is there? Doesn't it, it literally does nothing for us. We get we get money. I guess we don't want a card. But honestly, maybe a card is not the end of the world, although mm, Let's take the money. Yeah, let's just take the money. We know that nothing comes of that. We we know that's meaningless. Which is good. Ah, you... Fucking assholes. <laughs> give me... Give me the totem that I need. You know which one it is. It's the insect one. You better give it to me here. God, we have so many times. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, this be number six. You... Just fucking monsters. Uh, like, I guess our birds have fecundity. How have we got so many good totems? All of these totems are incredible for our build. And all we need is, is insect. Actually, he's an amphibian. Maybe we should have taken the reptile. Reptile? I don't know. Should have taken the reptile one, maybe. Well, 2020 hindsight, but just, oh my god, really? All of those would have been incredible. All of those would have been perfect. And no luck. Uh, what do we do about this? Um, that wolf is gonna be a pain. Uh, honestly, it's tempting just to mealworms. Oh no, we can't mealworms. Well, in that case, I guess we have to do this. It is two damage, he does three. Uh, eh. Um, the wolf cub's obviously gonna, like, destroy us. And actually, we're just sort of dead because we don't have the bones to do anything. An ant queen, lovely. Uh, well, we're not dead. We're very nearly dead. Okay, well... Actually, admittedly, I forgot about the Corpse Maggot. So if we have... We haven't stabilized. I'm not going to say that. But... We have some damage on the board. I mean, the mole is going to... Ruin things a little bit. Oh my god, we could just go into this. I don't think the blockers are worthwhile. I mean, the wolf will clear it. Well, the moment we're going to do one damage to the wolf. Which means that we can actually do this after and do a better job. So, I just, let's, let's leave this state. Oh, a, a grizzly. Uh, yep. That's not a problem at all. Okay. What what do we need to win this? What's the winning card? Honestly, Skunk versus Grizzly, I think he's gonna kick his ass. Um And I think we bring out a wolf cub. Because honestly, I think we just chuck this wolf cub right here. He kills a wolf, changes into a wolf. You know, we, we can throw out the skunk here. He, he kills a wolf. Um, imagine being a wolf and getting killed by a fucking skunk. That's pretty funny. Um, and then... We put the skunk here. Oh wow, he actually can't brawl with this grizzly, but he is our best shot. We can't afford to not have him there, I guess. So you can do three damage here. And we have some cards to play with. 
to deal with the wolf. Okay, how are we, how are we looking? We kind of need one of these. Not super duper helpful. Uh, let's skunk has to go, I guess. I guess we just pull out the bloodhound. Could have brought out the rattler, I guess. Uh, actually, no, we won't. I'm going to hold on to it for the next phase. Because all I need to do here is throw out you. Actually... Yeah, no, we've, we've nearly lost. Yeah, no, I need just just a smidge of damage. Okay, you know what the play is here? I think we actually do a, a very dumb sacrifice. I think we actually go boom, boom. Because it means we won't... And actually, I think we also convert this down again to one card. Because he can't really stop us at this point. This just mitigates his his pick. Because now we don't have as many squares blocked. Which I think in the grand scheme of things is actually worth a lot more. When we can play a full 5 damage and win. Now look, I'm not going to say I'm good at this game, but there are definitely times where I play my cards as well as can be played. In my opinion. And that, I think, was one of those times. <sighs> I could fucking do it. I gotta go for it. I, I, I have to. She moved off her carvings. Oh my god, okay. I never thought I'd get to this position. What the hell do we want here? I feel like these two are very similar. But I also think in the grand scheme of things, I think that is better. More worker ants is more worthwhile. I still don't see a win coming out of this, to be completely honest. We get a double sacrifice, that's good. Or double double candle. It's gonna be tough. I think the moon we can handle. Right, so we can get those corpse maggots out pretty quick. Ooh, do we do the early beaver play? for grabbing the cards that we want. Or do we just go double skunk? Because this gets played out anyway. So, maybe we go double skunk. I reckon. And I'm going to spread them out. Yeah, I mean, that's bad. Um, well, you have enough to summon the corpse modes. I guess we just need this for some extra oomph. Because we get a... No, we don't get a win out of this, do we? Obviously not. Ah, uh, we should have saved a skunk for the Mantis God. Okay, I think we double sacrifice here. For this. Right. Mantis, because he will give us an ant. Um... Do we just pull out all of our ant cards straight away to be played at our leisure? 
problem is getting the ant queen out. I think we need the mealworm. Maybe we even want the wolverine, actually. Actually, Bullfrog is a strong card. If we can get that Bullfrog hit. Okay, this is fine. Like, this Amalgam dies. Uh, the annoying thing is he brings out a Corpse Maggot. Because um, they're all about to get turned into gold. Oh, no. They're not. Wait, did I just have a stroke? What just happened there? Oh, he got hit by the pick, turned into gold, but didn't. And then the Amalgam killed him. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, the amalgam's a problem. It is a problem. Both of the amalgams are problems, actually. Uh, well, you're blocking a mantis god at the moment, so... What do I need to win? A lot at the moment. See, I don't want to sacrifice stuff to the Amalgam if I can avoid it. Like, the Mantis is probably the only thing I would be sacrificing to the Amalgam. She, he's probably better off over here. No, because he'll die straight away, which is not actually what we really want. God, we're going to get hit by that amalgam no matter what, aren't we? We're going to take three here. Because I think playing out the Mantis is actually a way better move. Actually, no, it's not. No, no, it's not. Because... Because you won't get killed by the Mantis God, you also won't proc the Mole Man to move over. Okay, you want that. That's okay. I'll give you something better. Trust me. I'll give you something better. Uh, we have a couple of sacrifices, that means we draw a card. Um... Yeah, no, we, we give you an Aqua Squirrel, and you can just enjoy it. There you go. Completely worthless. Okay, so now Mantis God we can handle. Probably just with a... No, we don't want to try that Mantis yet. Okay, I think we still have... Okay, I mean, we can play out a worker ant to kill the Mantis God. And I think that's what we'll do. Oh my god, they go forever. Well, we need to have sacrifices, but... Okay, well, you're dead. We take one damage. Which is okay. I'm gonna trade. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna take that Uriuli. Um. Because we don't want that coming down. Right, what do we want here? More sacrifice, I think. Because we can't get a win out of this, but. We can get some real damage on the field. And I don't actually think... Uh, no, I think we do want to bring out the Ant Queen. And that is purely because... The Ant Queen is harder to get later. Um... Well, yeah, actually, give me the wolf. 
I'll let this bullfrog just dink me for one damage all day. I could I could give a rat's ass about that about that uh, that bullfrog. Yeah, so I'm gonna end up using up all of my squirrels, which is not great. Which is not good at all. Um Okay, well I need a squirrel. This, this is this is known. Okay, I'd like to bring this down to one card, but I don't know if it's worth it. No, wait, we can't. No, we just have to let this happen. We we win, we move on to the next phase. Right. Future phases are a problem for tomorrow. Because he's going to goldify me on his turn, correct? Yeah, he's still, still ready to goldify me. But... Does that matter? And I think the answer is... Hell no. Because that's a win. Oh my god. Like, this is the phase that I am not at all concerned about. Actually, holy shit, infinite worker ant spam is is victory. Because, okay, he does like one damage, he, he does one damage to everything, right? Okay, generally, very annoying, but there's nothing stopping us from just replacing all of our ants with new ants. We basically just get a free refresh on all of our ants, and just for the flex, I'm gonna throw all worker ants out. Wow. Okay, I will point out though, would you believe, shockingly, uh, the round where we had every single totem that we could possibly want on this deck, and all we needed was that insect, that that would win us the game by, by a mile. You know, who, who could have foreseen this coming? Um, yeah. Like, absolutely crushed. He had no chance there. Once we got past the first round, zero hope. 22 misplays. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds about right. 211 cards drawn. We did draw a lot of cards. Uh, data corrupted. Interesting. Uh, curious Egg. Curious Egg hatches when drawn if the numbers 1 to 5 are represented in the health of creatures in your deck. What? What the hell does that mean? Curious Egg hatches... Okay. When drawn, if the numbers 1 to 5 are represented in the health of creatures in your deck, and in their power, and if there is a creature of each tribe... That thing better be amazing, because you have just described that you need at least five other cards in your deck for this to be useful. And I don't know if it is. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, I can respect that. Uh, grizzlies appear during the first three boss battles. Is that a bad thing? When you say appear, do you mean like... Okay, do you mean a grizzly appears? Do you mean a single grizzly appears in every battle? Which is... I mean, like, bad, but not... Not horrifically bad. Or do you mean that... Do you mean that, like, every card played is a grizzly? Which I feel like is a very different thing. Jeez, I don't know. But anyway, guys... Somehow, we scraped a win out of that one, and we are going to leave this episode here. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the videos on there. If you think you know any friends of mine enjoy my content, make sure you share a video to them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback to the videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comment section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode.
Goodbye.